skin, your all that. So tell us more, who is Victoria they are at the moment? Umewahi kulipa hongo. Halafu ukaona hapa da nimelipa nyingi. Na je, umewahi tisha za macho? Halafu upate do. Walishakuwa nika Facebook itakuwaje? Basi habari maalum kutoka Hongo Industries wanakuletea app muru wa kabisa ya Hongera The Bribe Calculator. Hongera The Bribe Calculator iko na uwezo wa kukutafutia mfisadi mwenzako aliyeko maeneo. Inakutafutia huduma kwa ofisi yoyote unayohitaji na inakuletea mfisadi atakayekusaidia kupata huduma bila kupiga line wala kungoja. Hongera imetengenezwa na wataalamu waliohitimu kufanya ufisadi kutoka ofisi mbalimbali. Mbali. Hongera ubaya wa kora. Hongo Industries. Tule pamoja. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this amazing edition of Arts in Heart. My name is Frida Ngoku, and Karibuni, from wherever you're watching us from, our handle on Facebook is The Arts in Heart, and on YouTube is The Arts in Heart Official. So Karibuni sana, and tonight we have amazing guests with us um, who will be talking to us will be telling us more about building an empire, more about who they are, where they are at the moment. And most importantly, making of the empire, which is at in heart and which is the show that we are joining tonight. So without further ado, I'm gonna welcome my amazing guests, um, Eli Likuyani, director at in heart and Victoria Nkada, Karibu Nisana. Hi, Eli. Hi, Frida. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Most of the time I get to see the other side of the aisle, but I'm excited to be actually on this side and uh, be answering some of your questions, if not all of them. Uh, great. Um, I'm happy to have you. Hi, Victoria. Hello, Frida. Good to see you as well. Thank you for having me as well. Karibu Nisana. Today I'm going to be your... Nikoi side, by the way. So... Don't worry, I'm not going to take you on a marathon. <laughs> so back to you, Eli. Uh, tell us more about who is Eli. I I love the word Likuyani, so I don't know what tribe that is. I would like to know that. But who is Eli Likuyani? Did you just get tribal on me for a minute? <laughs> we are Kenyans. Well, anyway, <laughs> anyway um, I am one person who doesn't describe themselves with a lot of titles. But okay. to put it in simple, my names on uh, my name brother is Eli Likuyani, and that's my artistic name. But I have wow. other names that are recognized by the government of Kenya, which uh -huh. for the moment I don't know if I should be. Yes, please do. Please them. do. <laughs> <laughs> well, my father and mother were very creative, so they decided they go the biblical way. So Eli, it's actually a short form of my full name, which is Eli Kana. So. Elikana ah, is the my Bible. first name. Yes, yes. The only man who had two wives and there was not a problem about it. And then there is another one, which is Ambata, which is now my dad's name. And Likuyani happens to be my borrowed name from my grandpa. Uh, so, so Likuyani yeah. is your grandma's, your grandfather's. Is it your grandfather or your grandma? 
my grandpa that is my granddad who actually ah. is it's long it's long gone he's he's resting in the eternity ah. yes mm -hmm. rest in peace that is early in a nutshell uh-huh nothing no titles that's it i i am very not so always easy to tell about titles because he's i get modest. the feeling he's being modest <laughs> He's being modest. He's gonna stop that. Stop being gonna modest. Stop. Today, no, today he doesn't get to be modest, especially not when I'm here. So you better speak out. You can't be a guest and trying to hold it down like a host. Uh -huh. Come on, tell us, talk to us. Well, now that I'm being put on the, uh, I've been mean, against my back is against the wall. I would say I happen to be one of the brains behind Art in Art, and uh, that is the only thing I would like to be associated with for the moment. But I have other projects that are ongoing, uh, which include uh, SL Investments Limited, which is a corporated company in Nairobi. And uh, the mind behind it was basically to deal with uh, information technology, supplying of internet, and uh, me. Uh, basically, I'm a retail. Um, ISP, which is the internet supplier, okay? So internet service provider. And, and on top of that, I happen to be the CEO of that particular company. And for the moment, I am very and totally sold out to adding that. So can you guys oh, let he's me a lose journalist. One He's a journalist as well. Please, can you, can you just... I, I can tell, I can that. tell from the voice. Something about your voice. Really, I'm like, you need to tell us more about that. Anyway, moving on. Victoria and Katha. Now, from where I come from, Victoria, I'm Embu. Nkatha to us means um, a woman that is all around. You're beautiful, you're hardworking, you're all that. So tell us more, who is Victoria Nkatha? I hope I pronounced Nkatha the right way. Mm -hmm. All right, so who is Victoria and Nkatha? Think, and I think my mom knew very well what she was gonna do. I'm not gonna be honest like Ellie because I have learned uh, with time that you better celebrate yourself for who you are in totality and okay. in all your respects because it you never know who's watching, you never know mm -hmm. who's listening, and you never yeah. know who you're going to inspire to do even yeah. better things. So I'm not going to be modest, but I say it all in humility. Um, now, God is so great, and my mom knew what she was doing when she was calling me Victoria, which means victorious, and yeah. uh, she prophesied on my life that I will be victorious in every single thing that I do. She called me Katha because as you rightfully put it, a woman who's all rounded and she's Amejito Sheleza, she's yeah. independent and she is a woman by herself and can do by herself. And I and again, she prophesied all on my life. So I never knew uh, and understood the power that I hold until I grew to doing a lot of things. So, and with that, like I am here, and uh, uh, the magnificent Eli uh, we're doing art in heart and trying to build something that is as great as possible and also inspiring others uh, in the process. Um, but um, on my background, I also have Responding to Life where I'm the founder and hey, I don't like the name CEO, but yes, very much. I will take it and I'll own it. Own it. <laughs> I'll own it where we are now transitioning. It started out as a platform where people could come in and speak to us and um, where we were talking and so on and so forth, where we have a YouTube channel, but we're now transitioning to the business aspects of it, where we are rebranding completely and looking at how we can also offer services where we also can sustain ourselves. Um, apart from that, I'm a master's student. I, I currently am studying innovation and business development. I have a background in, um, in economics and business administration. On top of that, we're currently working on sustainability and development products uh, projects in Kenya, where I'm working as a project manager. And aside mm -hmm. from that, I'm a sister, I'm a mother in other, uh, some people call me mother. Um, and I'm a woman of faith, great faith, and a minister as well. And I love the Lord. And oh. um, I think that's just it, that's just it. That's amazing, Victoria. That's a whole, you know, introduction. I'm like, I want to hear more. I want to hear more. But there's, like you said, oh, there's power I forgot in one thing. She's going to kill me. She's going to kill me. African women in Europe. 
I host their shows and I'm, I'm head of their youth department. She would have killed me had I not mentioned it. <laughs> Great. Um, happy to have you here. I uh, can't wait to learn more from you. And like you said, uh, there's power in, in names. So I'd like to know from Ellie, um, why the name Art in Heart? I mean, of all the names, Art in Heart, what is it? What does it stand for? Well, uh, I have received this question from a lot of people, not just you, uh, Frida. And thank you for actually bringing it out. Um, you know, before we even talk about why the name, it is why necessitated uh, the coming up of this uh, platform that we call Art in Heart. And uh, I bring it back to the time that uh, Rona happened. This is back in 2019, the onset of 2020. And um, I realized that a lot of people were going through a lot of stressful situations. A lot of people had lost their jobs, their livelihood for that matter. And on top of that, there was an issue about uh, celebrities and uh, influencers being under immense depression. So there was this, uh, rather, there's still this uh, comedy show that goes on air from this uh, comedian called Jasper Murume. And uh, I got to see what they were doing, and I was impressed that they were actually entertaining people and making people forget about their stress and their depression for that matter. But the other side that I felt was missing was then after the entertainment, what next? Because this looks like you're going to drink yourself out of an issue, yeah. but the following day, the issue is actually still there to face you and you have to deal with it. So there's this lady who happens to be part of the team. Her name is Nyanduko. I reached out to Nyanduko and she told me, Ellie, why don't we have a comedy, you know, stuff like what uh, Jasper and the team are doing? And I said, well, and then See, my issue was there. Yes, fine, we will have it. And then what? So the whole idea actually on the end onset was to just have a time that we can get to chat and have a discussion with people hoping we can impact their lives. So I sat back and thought about it. And yes, for sure, we did. It was supposed to be a one thing time. So we gathered with uh, Yenduko and there's this presenter called, a uh, radio host rather, called uh, Tina Kagea. You should be aware about yeah, her. Yeah. She works at Nation FM. So we we, we talked and they say, All right, okay, Tina and Yanduko, why don't we have a show and just you know have a good time together and see how the chemistry goes? Actually, that's what we did. But <laughs> the funny part about this is we had no idea what to even call the show. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. So Keep I going. sat. I sat down, and uh, yeah, sometimes I can be creative when I want to. <laughs> so something just popped out in my heart, and I say, "Art." So I talked to this designer, and he was telling me, "Yeah, maybe it's gonna be music and stuff and such." His name is Enos. Enos was a very creative mind when it comes to vector graphics and all that, and. I, I, he returned the graphics to me and said, hmm, why don't we call it art in heart? Because I want to focus on art and at the same time deal with what people are going through. Because most of the time it's not just about the external, you know, no. because art describes everything you see. Yeah. If you look at it on that critical aspect, it describes what you see. And sometimes art goes beyond just what you see, but what you feel. So if you want to talk about music, for example, music is not the beat. And someone told us, rather, I mean, it's a reading and I'm not going to, I'm just going to paraphrase, that we tend to relate more to music when we are in a time of loneliness, yes. if that's the word. And also, once we felt, you know, nothing else may, brings me Make, to makes sense. Makes sense if that's the one. Yeah. So I'm actually paraphrasing it. So ideally, 
it was this art has to make sense to our feelings, to the internal uh -huh. you. And that's when I decided to tell the graphic designer, you know what? We're going to call it Art in Heart. And it was a very difficult name, I can tell you, Frida. I couldn't get those words, including being the creator of those words. I'm still struggling with them. <laughs> I'm still struggling with them. You know where I come from? Saying Art in Heart, it's, I, I might say Heart in Heart, you know, put heart a in heart, yeah. you know. Yeah, so amazing. I, I love the, the story behind it and the fact that now you're coming to our hearts. That's what mm -hmm. it touches us, you know. When you touch the heart, a lot happens. And, and, yeah. and you know, that definitely resonates with most of us, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Now, um, we're, we're talking about making of an empire. And like you said, when everything happened and Rona happened, you are looking into, then what? You know the aftermath what comes later what comes after this and i am sure um when arts in heart was born and now it's kicking off and you're like you know what i'm excited about this baby you had the future plans you knew what you're getting into so what are some of the things that you faced at the beginning and you're like uh okay uh, this is happening i love what i'm doing but man there's a lot that is about to come what is that one thing that challenge that huge thing that you really faced and you're like, okay, I need to deal with it, but I have to do this. Ellie. Can I can I can I just oh, wow. in before before he answers? Before he uh -huh. answers, because I know this is this is one thing he's not gonna say. One of the biggest challenges was getting kicked out of his own show on the first show. That is one of the <laughs> biggest challenges. That is it. By who? Now he can continue. He can <laughs> that was Ellie, I think that was the biggest motivation for Ellie to find a way to stream with multiple people on the screen um, without having a problem. Because at that time, Facebook had not created what it has now, where you have rooms and where you can also go live on multiple uh, streets. But at that point, Ellie got kicked out of his own show. That was the first major challenge. <laughs> that was a huge one, Ellie, right? Well, I would say yes. And Victoria, thank you for reminding me of that uh, very stressful situation. You want situation. to say you forgot? Wait a minute. Eddie. You want to mean you forgot about that? Well, you know, a lot of, a lot has happened. And and sometimes <laughs> okay. we we tend not to... Uh, th th that's my own feeling, rather. I tend not to focus on what happened before. I actually look at what I'm headed into and rather what is coming and what I have to deal with. And that's why, yes, uh, I, I will actually say it didn't skip my mind. But of course, it's something that I will never happen. Uh, I mean, I will never forget because I remember during the whole process of creation of Art in Heart, as Victoria Wells put it, we, we and I mean, that's Tina Kigia, uh, uh, um, uh, Nyanduko and myself had actually agreed to do a threesome that's that's what we call it we call it uh, the awesome threesome that was the title of that show that night uh -huh. and everybody was asking why the awesome threesome and uh i was saying that because i think and i believe we are awesome and whatever we are going to speak is going to make so much sense so the idea was to have tina to actually stream it on our page because by then her page was public i'm one person who has been very very withheld when it comes to to social media for that matter and i've uh -huh. had a very closed circuit of who i invite into my social media space so to begin with that was the major challenge i would say because i didn't want to be this public image or uh -huh. let everybody into my space but then again uh -huh. once you get to the to that space unfortunately you lose all those uh confidentiality and you know i can decide if vicky will see my post or not i can decide who says what about what i post so ideally that was the first challenge so we say let's do it with tina unfortunately tina was late for the prep <laughs> and then we have to go live and i'm like why is she you know what i did? i just said press go live and she, she will join us and then uh -huh. All my settings, because I'm a private, quote unquote, uh -huh. uh, social media user, nobody could comment. So they could watch, but they couldn't comment. So I was like, what is wrong with that? Hey, so everybody said, hey, we cannot comment. I'm saying, okay. Uh, 
maybe because there's a problem and then we couldn't actually figure it out we hadn't we i mean we had not sat down and think about yeah. those stuff that mm -hmm. were going to happen but anyway in a nutshell uh that led to me being kicked out of my show because we, i thought okay wow. let's let's end the show and mm -hmm. restart a new stream and because <laughs> my page is possibly private with tina's page which uh -huh. is public I'm able to be added, but that wasn't it. It's because mm -hmm. Facebook will only but post up to two people in a stream. And this is something we never did a check on before going live. So that, wow. my dear, was the first challenge that actually we came to overcome. And probably Victoria will tell more about that. Clearly you overcame it. And and I'm sure at the end of it, you're like, finally, we are here. We are doing this. And of course, being able to get back, you know, online and do it. You must have been excited. I mean, finally, we're doing this, and I'm still on the show. You're still the director. <laughs> anyway, before we take a short break, let's speak to Victoria a little bit. Victoria, how did you find yourself in the arts in heart? Ah, funny story. <laughs> a very funny story. So, Ellie mm. contacted me. Uh, we were just we were we were called. Um, what was the name we were given in in Jasper's show? We were called something, and this was the people who were sending from abroad. Oh, what that mean? What that mean? What that mean? And people who kept <laughs> on sending loyally. So <laughs> this one day, uh, Jasper made a note. No, it was Eddie who made a note that uh, Victoria had sent from Wild Bremit. Ah, oh, Pandora's box had opened. I got a DM from mm -hmm. from one and only. Elke, and he slid in the DMs. <laughs> Talk about shooting your and, shots. And let me tell you, this wasn't even Art in Heart related because at that point, he hadn't started Art in Heart. So he huh? DM'd me and then he was talking about World Remit. So we started discussing about World Remit. He's like, you shouldn't send money on World Remit. And then Ellie being Ellie started yes. telling me how it's wrong how I should send through other ways and then started giving me facts on why World Remit That was the first time here. you're meeting Ellie and yes. that's, that's what you're doing. Yes. Yes. That is uh, the first I, time I, 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 I hope, I, I hope, I hope we are not just over, 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 <laughs> I hope you're not over shouting that brand and they, no. they might be paying us. No, <laughs> Ellie, just Ellie in case. decided that, Ellie decided that, eh, Victoria, this is not the right, he gave me facts and, and you know, <laughs> I started thinking, where is this one from? As in, how would you come into somebody's DMs? Can you imagine? The first thing you're telling them is all this and how wrong they are. So we started talking. And then now after he started at in Heart, I think actually I was on the second show. Ah. If I'm not wrong. Second show. Yes. Second or third. Tag, it, was, tag, it was second or tag, third tag, show. Okay. So he invited me over. And then all of a sudden... After after the after that one show, the next show, and then the next one, and then all of a sudden I was the resident psychologist, and then boom, that's it. We are we are here several several months later. <laughs> we are here. Amazing, good story there, Ellie. Yeah. Hey, Manze, when you're approaching people, <laughs> don't shout too it, it, much. You know, you know the thing is, Frida, and <laughs> and I, I believe that is the. That is what mm -hmm. probably makes me different. Okay. I prefer to keep quality relationships. I mean, uh, that is one of the major reasons I've never been very open to my social media space to everybody. And the people that I let in have always been people that I want to be inside the circle and people that will make sense. I know you're looking at the time and you want to take a break, but anyway, yeah. this is a story that uh, I can tell probably after we take the break but yeah oh, great let's, I'm let's, take to sharing short, more it. let's take a short break we'll be right back we, we're gonna hear about that early soon acha to leave a bills acha to leave a bills we'll be right back if people are actually having mental instability, there's a lot of cases of depression, a lot of cases of suicide. We are supposed to speak about it. We are supposed to talk. We are supposed to create debates online and even out of uh, social media with people and ask them how can we deal with this yeah because i think artists are the most depressed people if you ask me and i say this because i am an example myself 
yeah but if we have these platforms you realize that um uh, if i'm talking to you like right now it is therapy mm -hmm. for me This specifically can be a tourist attraction. Kimila ni ngumu, ngumu sana. Kuacha Kimila. It's It's not safe. There's no science. For me, I, I don't trust them. Hizi kusikia yako uchungu. Siwezi. Hi, my name is Frida Nkuku. I'm the founder of Joy Macall Papers and Deco. I'm an interior designer, an entrepreneur, a content creator on YouTube, a mentor, and a singer. At Joy Macall Papers and Deco, we have quality wallpapers, wall mirrors, contact papers, and turf, otherwise known as artificial grass. Our services include interior design, installation, and training for those who are interested in our services. Now, we have varieties of wallpapers with different textures, designs, patterns, and colors to give you your desired look. Currently, we have stocked over a thousand samples of wallpapers for you to choose from. We have trained installers to ensure flawless finish upon installation we offer our services countrywide and we also do delivery follow us on social media at joy mccall papers and deco on facebook and at joy mccall papers and deco on instagram as a youtuber i have videos to show you how you can do installation yourself so check them out on youtube at frida nguku for business or any other inquiries kindly contact us or reach us on 07869 and we are going to help you build a happy place. Hello my loves, this is Victoria and Katha from Responding to Life. First and foremost, I'd love to thank each and everyone who has been supportive of Responding to Life ever since you began our work. See you on the internet waves. And welcome back. Remember, we are live on Facebook at the Art in Hearts, live on YouTube, um, Art in Hearts official. So you can check us out, leave us a comment, let us know what you think, any questions you have for our amazing guests, Ellie and Victoria, kindly for them to us and to Tawauliza. We'll get on to them and ask them. So uh, before we left for a break, Ellie was telling us much about building quality relationships. And you know, this was related to Victoria Nkada coming on board for Arts in Hearts and now as a co-director and of course a host. And Ellie, um, getting back to you. Now, as you tell us more on that, please tell us about your vision and mission of Arts in Hearts. As a director, definitely. Kunazila vision. What's the vision for your company, for your business? What's your mission? So as you get into that, please connect the two and get us moving. Well, I will be doing a disservice to my very able co-director if I take on uh -huh. that question. So I will allow oh. her to actually do the honors. <laughs> Victoria, that has always been your strength. Kindly. 
see I see what this man did right there. Now, one of the things that has been very, very important to us, and I would gladly love to share with you, is the fact that every organization, as it should start out, has to have where it's going, what it's doing, and what it's supposed to achieve and where it's supposed to go. Now, one of our visions is to be able to create a platform to be able to impact African African uh, uh, artists um, to deal with societal issues all across the globe. Now, one of the things is that our societal issues do not only limit to the African continent. However, wh who we want to inspire and who we want to push forward is the African artists. Why? Because African artists, especially in Kenya, do not get the recognition that they need to get. They do not get the le level. Um, they do not get the level of support that you see in international artists and so on and so forth. It is very rare to hear uh, African music, African art, African this and that that is really like the Michael Angelos and the Beyonces mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. And this is what we want to push forward. And it starts with one step at a time. Our mission is to be able to bring in, to, to achieve our vision through videos, through impactation, through uh, support financially and uh, um, in other ways, societal wise, um, towards the individuals who are related to us, who come to our platform. So we have this platform that we're using, we, our mission is to be able to use it to reach to our vision, which is being able to impact lives and also support people through uh, shows such as this, through financial uh, assistance, which comes in um, in very many ways and, and so on and so forth. So we go down, we dig deeper and, and to the people who are not, not seen, we have artists who are very talented. However, because they do not have connections, they do not have the resources, they are not seen. And one of the things is that we want to be able to bridge a gap, bridge the gap through at least bringing in the resources. And that is a platform, that is finances, that is you know uh, being able to speak on what they do and putting their names out there. Also creating this whole network around these artists so that they can also be able to support each other. Far often I've seen some of our guests be able to connect with other guests that have been on the show. This way you're creating a bigger network and all of a sudden, boom, you realize that people have different resources that they can be able to utilize to reach to a place where we're now pushing African artists forward who are addressing societal issues in a proper manner and are able to support themselves, fund themselves and able to sustain themselves this is why it's art in hearts. Oh, wow. Ellie, you knew what you were doing. Clearly, you knew what you, you know, were doing. <laughs> you, you know, you know. There's one thing uh, as a, as a team that actually I love about working with Victoria. She mm -hmm. actually grasps and understand where we are headed, and that is what makes her different. And I'm very proud about her. I'm very proud about the, the, the impact she does behind the scenes. But a lot of people might not actually realize what okay. she does, including me burning the midnight oil to make sure that things are actually working. She's one of the few people that I call in the middle of the night, and I can tell she's struggling for the moment. And, 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 and she will actually pick up and have a conversation with me about what we intend to achieve. There's one thing she's mentioned about artists and and probably this might um, raise questions on what kind of artists. I want yeah. us to, to open up our mind and not just limit to artists per se, who mm -hmm. most of us will refer to them as musicians. We're actually yes. looking at creatives at a wider angle. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about creatives, it's, it's, it's really not limited to music. It's not limited mm -hmm. to, to uh, performing arts and theaters. It's not limited to, to um, let's say, people that do, do graphics and stuff and such. Yeah, it goes and opens a very big, uh, wide, uh, if I can call it a wide angle of what we want to focus on. So yeah. we are talking about dance. We are talking about uh, spoken word. We are talking about, uh, you know, acrobatics. Those are creatives in their own respect and they make a big difference on what we do. 
and uh, I don't know if if uh, Victoria, Victoria, you want to say something on what I'm I'm saying? I can, I can see you shaking your head, or are you agreeing? With no, me? I was actually it's adding. Like I was, real to it. Yeah, I was I was adding onto it. Um, I, I was adding onto what you were saying because uh, when people think artists, they think uh, musicians, actors, and and so on and so mm-hmm. forth. They forget that we have um content creators we have yeah. uh draw uh, artists who draw by pencil and and yeah. color and painters and and we have so so many people we have um like he said spoken word we have people hairstylists we have Hairstyle. makeup artists we have yeah. we have very many people who are artists in their respect and when he said the midnight oil burning the midnight oil i can tell you there are days we sit down 13 to 14 hours <laughs> in a day on call because <laughs> we're working and trying to figure out how best can we do this um in the middle of the work that we also do outside of arts in hearts because again like we said we've started and we're trying to build something and 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 one of the things that i would love to say is patience and resilience really has been loud um mm-hmm. in 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 creating art in heart and it really has required sacrifices on many angles and that is one thing that also in some of some other aspects we've seen lack of and and mm-hmm. we've seen that people don't put in or rather not everybody can understand where you want to go and it's a blessing to see somebody else understand what you want to achieve yeah. and and i think even if you ask our teammates ellie and i fight the most <laughs> we fight the most because Victoria, I'm, not, I, I, I can't not even hurt I, I can't even hurt an aunt what are you talking about what are you talking yes, about fights? that is that is what he'll say right now but being it, but somebody behind the passionate, behind the scenes no behind the scenes and uh, he's he's trying to you know victor and achoma but let's be real one of the aspects that's very very important is having somebody who because even partners look at look at this dynamic partners or or family even your parents yeah you people will fight the most not because mm-hmm. you hate each other but because you understand that to hold this family together, <laughs> it requires it us to make little. some tough yes. decisions. It requires some very, very tough decisions. It requires some really critical thinking. And it also requires us to look at things from very different perspectives. And those perspectives will not always be the best or will not yeah. always be the ones that in li- are in line with what I want or what he wants. And that's where the friction comes. But I can tell you also, we are probably mm-hmm. the two people who love each other the most. <laughs> because <laughs> on that when note, we now get to, <laughs> on when that we note, now get to agree, we to do uh-huh. really amazing work. And All right. Now you mentioned you mentioned on the patience part when it comes to you know trying to create this baby to bring it up and make it what it is that you have a vision for and you know your mission and all that and you know in all that you fight you 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 know you come back and be like we have to do this because you all of you believe in the same direction you're moving towards the same direction and now um exactly. getting back to you as a team and being able to join together and make this all um business this old baby grow up of course there's a team that you come up with like you mentioned your team people get to understand that you and ellie fight the most now i know you and i know ellie i don't know your team people i don't know your team we want to know who are you working with who are these people who are behind the camera who we don't really get to see the most who are you working with ellie probably you tell us that well thank you uh frida for asking that and 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 sometimes and none too many. There are a lot of brain in terms of resources that go into yeah. what we're doing. There are a lot of people that you probably not met, but mm-hmm. I will na- mention their names actually. And yeah. if I forget some of them, because sometimes the head gets to work the other side, uh, mm-hmm. you will forgive me. But let me first start with uh, my teammate, who is Nyanduko254. Uh, that is the, the, the artistic name she uses. But this is an amazing lady. Nyanduko is not fast to speak, but when she uh-huh. speaks, she makes a lot of sense. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
And that's okay. what I love about Nyanduko. So Nyanduko is the one one person that I work with. Unfortunately, she's not available for this uh, conversation. And mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we might not disclose the reason as to why, because they are more uh, internal, okay? The mm -hmm. other part, the other partner that I work with is, uh, now I'm talking about the, the core, um, uh, there's Victoria Nkada, and Victoria, she's such a darling. I mean, there's nothing I can <laughs> say about Victoria that nobody else will understand <sighs> except myself. Mm -hmm. Victoria is the only lady on this set that gets to ask me tough questions and disagree with yeah. me publicly <laughs> until we agree. And that does not mean that it's for the honor. Mm -hmm. It means she has the best of interest of what we're doing. Interest, and yeah. that is, yeah. And she is actually my co-director, and she's my content creator. I mean, rather my content uh, director. And that is what Victoria makes sure happens. You know, sometimes I feel like a lame duck when Victoria is not is not there because she will get to correct my spelling errors. She'll get to tell me any these wordings have not been put the right way. Probably if we switch them this way or delete this one, it would make more sense. And sometimes I'm like, Victoria, must you always be right? But yes, mm -hmm. as a leader, I think the best you can do is not always lead from the front. Sometimes it's good to lead from the yeah. from behind and see where the future is heading by looking at how your people are working. A shepherd will never walk in front of the, of, of, of the ship. A shepherd is always behind the ship. And that is what Victoria brings into the whole, you know, game of art in heart. There's an amazing lady that I call Noreen. Noreen is another one. She is almost a copy paste of Nyanduko, but in a different way. She rarely speaks. But when she speaks, she equally makes a lot of sense. And that is something I also say it is a plus. Otherwise, we'll be having everybody talking like alien and and and, 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 and the, the room is too full because everybody has their opinion that is so correct and nobody else can tell them anything. No, I think she brings in the balance. You know, uh -huh. she goes, you are there, I'm here. Okay, so where do we meet? So yeah, okay. that is Noreen. And then I have another team member that I call Tina. Tina is like a silent investor. <laughs> Tina Kage is a silent investor and she pushes for us what we do in a different way because she gets to host us every single show that we do. And I'd maybe oh. later on, if you allow me latitude, I'll explain the number of shows we have and how they run and how they work. But Tina is a silent one and she gets to have things moving by getting us, you know, those correct okay. connects. We have had guests that have come here thanks to Tina. We have had a lot of uh, reach out to the, 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 the magnitude thanks to Tina. And some of us are actually known of what we're doing right now because of what Tina is doing. So I will never take that for granted. She is not always in everything we do, but she's always watching and seeing that we are doing it right. Sometimes you come and say, Ellie, that interview, you can say this, you can talk about this, and you can do that. And that's something I appreciate. We have another gentleman that I work with. Rather, I have a lot of gentlemen on, on set that I work <laughs> with. And that is Godi Seguero. Godi Seguero will prep all our guests to make sure that they know what they are coming to do by the time they arrive on set. And I don't take that for granted. Um, he's such a man that I respect because I will call him, even if he does not agree with what I'm saying, he will first do and then come tell me, this should have been this way. Mm -hmm. And you know, sit and where I'm sitting, I'm like, oh, probably mm. I should have, I should have. But then, you know, I learned from that. And, and, and <laughs> nobody can always, nobody can say that they, there's never room for learning. There's always yeah. room for learning. I have another team member that we call uh, Mwema. Now Mwema, <laughs> Mwema is the bitter, sweet sour sauce if there's such a thing yes he's 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 those little brothers that you know are there and they just frustrate you but you know they have so much talent but their brain is overworking their brain <laughs> is really overworking he's so I, i'm sorry ellie but i had to come in with Mwema. 
Mama is so talented. He is so hyper and his mm-hmm. brain works miracles. As in, he's all over the place. Yes. Like you see those little siblings, your your younger siblings who are jittery, who disturb you like this, like this. You can't get to hold them because their mind is boof. But when all then over. you have exactly, and as a big brother or a big sister, you have to tell them, hey, wait, sit. Let's get everything in order. You understand? <laughs> I love Weber. I really love Weber because he's so brilliant in what he does. And he's very, very talented. And he does the production. Every artistic thing that you see Art in Heart related to, it's him. He does the, gra- the, the interviews behind the scenes and gets things. His brain, like this, like this, like this, like this. And being able to catch him in one boom. It's those people who you can't put in a little box. You you just can't mm. put him in a box. He he can't. He's too everywhere. Everywhere. I, I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait to meet him. I am I'm I'm here thinking I actually need to see Mwema. I really need to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so thank you, thank you, Vicky. And uh, I mean, that, that will actually explain who Mema is. And, and yes, and uh, he's never on the screens, he's always behind. Mm-hmm. And he makes mm-hmm. sure that you know, all the music mm-hmm. production you've seen here, it's thanks to Mema and 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 you know, the brilliancy that he puts around it. This is the guy that will shoot the camera, will uh, will play the, the piano or the keyboard for that matter. You know, he's on the keys. And he's the one recording, and then he'll jump the other direction. He will do the music, yeah. and he will put. The, I mean, I cannot um, express how valuable Mema is to this mm-hmm. team. Mm-hmm. There is wow. another. Uh, I have actually three more levels of other people that we work with that I will actually bring on. There is now the marketing side. Uh huh. Just a second before men. you go there. Before yes. you go there, Ellie, you have another core team member. You have Mr. Rahim Kara. Don't I, that's Rahim. I said there's three levels. I said there's three okay. levels. He's also very core. No, he, yes. we started with the core, but he's also core. Yes, yes. <laughs> but he has, he, he, I, I mean, you just spoiled the stew by adding more uh, water to it, but it's okay. Sorry. We have, we have, we have uh, the marketing team and, and yeah. uh, some of them actually are known, but they are doing an amazing job. They are the people that we send out an advert like this and they are flying it all over. They are sharing to everybody around the world. And they're actually also silent investors. So yeah. silent investors never get to mention, but because you've asked, I know mm-hmm. I, I'm not supposed to say this, but you'll forgive me. Rhoda Kipro is a core team member of Art in Heart. Mm-hmm. I've uh, seen her on comments a lot. You will when never see her on screen. But she's <laughs> always there. She's on keyboard. She's sharing. Yeah. She's doing all that. Another lady mm-hmm. that I get to work with that works very mm-hmm. closely with us is Sarah and Jonjo. That's another mm-hmm. amazing lady. And the fact that they are able to bring all the synergy together and just help us pushing what we are pushing, I cannot take it for granted. Now, mm-hmm. you mentioned about Rahim, and Rahim Kara is. Have you ever seen somebody that thinks on his feet? Rather, he never thinks he has the right answers all the time. That is Rahim. <laughs> <laughs> he will tell you the ugly truth, and you might not agree with him, but that's it. And this, I can't tell you for a fact, it's somebody you will never want not to have in your team. So Rahim exactly. is not new to the business, but is new to, to art in art, but he has already created a very big impact on how we run yeah. and what we do. I know I've talked too much, and uh, Victoria has been nodding to what I say. So, Victoria, can you now tell the other members that are actually not there all the time, but they contribute to what we do? And probably, yeah, two or three of them. And I, and I think starting from Rahim, just to summarize, I've never met somebody who's more brutal than I am in terms of speaking his mind out or her mind out. So I thought I thought I spoke my mind, but Rahim speaks his mind. You know, I, I am still having the responding to life limitations, but Rahim, well, he will tell you as it is and you take it, you leave it. When you cry, you can go cry, but when you come back, you'll see the sense. So that's on your own. So another aspect, we have the lovely amazing uh team members who are not necessarily on the 
screen, but they really, really do an amazing job. Like some of them are uh, like Nick Lusuli, who has not been on screen. He used to be on screen, but he hasn't been on screen that much. Um, but he it has been an amazing voiceover artist. And some, some of the things that you still see in Art in Heart are because of his lovely voice and what he has done for us and the level of impact. So we're looking forward to seeing him on screen again, but he's definitely a valued member. We have Mr. Eshuchi Lumumba, who is mm -hmm. actually doing great work of which you are yet to see. It's actually very, very soon. Going to come. Very great projects that he's behind for Art in Heart. And some of these projects, which will be lasting um, identity projects that will be re related to Art in Heart. So he's about to make a really huge impact, which he's also still made by also coming on the show and giving us his nuggets and also participating and letting us use his music as well. We have other people who are involved in Art in Heart with the shows that we run during the week. Now, yeah. Mr. James. Mr. James is uh, another person who says it as it is. <laughs> he says it as it is. And he, he's a man of few words, but of great wisdom. And not only that, but he will look at you. He has this, he has this certain look that when he looks at you, you know what time it is. Okay? You know it. <laughs> or you talk. He, he will just look. Kwanza, he looks at you and he sits down like this. Hmm. Through his you're glasses. Like, I'm supposed to shut up. <laughs> you, yeah, you know you're supposed to shut up now. He, he will look at you. You can't read his face because he has this really uh, off face. But then... He, at the same time, as you can't read it, you can also read it because it's telling you, shut up. Mm -hmm. mm. You, you're not speaking any sense. <laughs> and these are people you need. These are people you need yeah. around you. Now, other than that, you also have Mr. Gilbert, who is a, a bubbly human being. And not his bubbliness is not in the sense that he's so overexcited or whatever. He's bubbly but calm at the same time. These are the type of people that I've tried to understand where they at in terms of their energy, but you can't really understand. He's so bubbly, but then calm and collected at the same time. His voice is so soothing, but his energy still, as in he radiates a very different, it's amazing. And when he mm -hmm. speaks, he's so calm and collected. And he will tell you, he will tell you, I think the men that we have are just generally uh, very well-spoken and, and very... You know, the women are very relaxed, as, except me and, and one more that I will tell you about. Um, <laughs> except myself and one more. The women on the show are very relaxed and they are very, they think and, and really just sit down and reflect and all that. But the men are usually very, and some of them might even withhold what they want to say. Um, but the men are usually very, mm, 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 boom, 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 boom. Well, except, well, yeah, also him. I was about to say except Ellie, and then I would be like, he's the leader of the pack. He's the leader, he's the leader of the pack. So we also have the other shows that are brought in by our lovely Nyoka BGK Kamau, yeah. who is also, uh, I don't know whether Victoria part two or I am Nyoka B part two, but we are one of the same. We are no, the we are the same. We are the, we are we are different sides of the same hand, basically. Kuchapa ivi na jeme, kuchapa na the same thing. It's a kuchapa ivi na kuchapa ivi. You know, Victoria and GK one and the same. So, <laughs> um, she's an amazing woman who has a lot of wisdom and has been part and parcel of growing, um, making us grow, um, relationship wise and building us and also kind of like the mama of the team and and well we have some other mamas hi hiding somewhere who, who we cannot tell but yeah. uh, who we cannot speak of but she's kind of like the the visible mama of the team and and that is really something that we highly appreciate others uh, we have Mutoria, we have um this lady oh lord jesus i forgot her name ha huh. ha huh. this is oh. very shameful but at the same time uh -huh. There are too many. No. There are too many. There's no, that's that's the point here. That's the point here. I've actually realized you guys are so many. Uh, 
I did we know that. So many, you know, we yeah, when we many. see Ellie, we see Victoria, we see Nyokabi, we see Noreen. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes, behind the camera that you don't get to experience. And I'm like, oh, there is Moema. There is this other person. There is, I'm like, mm. wow. And you know what I like most about you, people being able to describe your team, is that you're able to tell their characteristics. This is, this is a kind of a person mm. we have in the team. These are collected. You expect this from these people. So that means as much as you people have built this team, you know the strength and the weaknesses that come with each and everyone, the, you know, which, one which is person, what really works well in, in the building. Um, has, mm -hmm. The one person that has refused to take a personality test in this whole team is Mr. Eli Likoyani. Eli, that is the Eli, one person, Eli. one person in the whole entire <laughs> team that has refused to take a personality test and has refused to take a, 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 a character and a temperament test is Eli Lukiani because, and let me tell you guys what he has said to me, it is because he knows, he's, he, he, one, he's scared of finding out his personality, too. He thinks he's a bit of everything. That is, okay. a, you see the mess that I'm, I'm dealing with? So when Ellie. we come to Eli, when we come to Eli and describing Eli, <laughs> well, Eli, we, 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 we will look for you. We will look for you and we're, we're gonna get you one day. Now, I need to take a very, very short break. And when we get back, I want to talk about um, any regret you could be having, any regret, you know, is starting a whole a whole empire. And the future, What what? where do you see art in heart in the next five years, in the next um, three years, in the next, where are you seeing that? So we're taking a short break. We are joined by Victoria Nkata, who is the co-director of Art in Heart, and Eli Likuyani as the director of Art in Heart. And this is an amazing show. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back. Mm. I believe uh, that's our society. That's how we formed our society. That's how we have chosen to, to react to issues, to treat issues with a lot of casualty, mm -hmm. with a lot of I don't care attitude. It's a matter of what our society has involved into. But then you find that because we do not have values, then society defines us. And society defines what is man enough and what is not. It is society that has defined this for us. And because we have not inculcated the right value system in our generation, in our youth as they grow up, then we are breeding monsters. And we are back, back again with this amazing, amazing guest tonight, Eli Likuyani, director of Art in Heart and Victoria Nkata. Remember, you can catch us live on Facebook at the Art in Heart, and then on YouTube is the Art in Heart official. And man, Sidamini one now in Enda Kuisha, what is it, you guys? I mean, we have 15 minutes. I'm shocked. Now, tell us <laughs> something about any regrets, Eli. I mean, you build in a whole empire. You're creating this baby. You want it to be somewhere in the next few years. Do you have any regrets? Well, I wouldn't say I have any regrets, but I will say I have learned a lot through okay. this journey. Uh, some of the things I have come to understand when dealing with online shows and productions is something I never dreamt about when we started. I mean, the whole idea was to have a one-time thing and how it ended up being a whole show with five shows every week. Mm -hmm. That is something I can never, you know, get myself to understand like, Ellie, you're too much. So the only thing I, I can say on the other hand, it's it, how has it then affected mm -hmm. how I operate? Mm -hmm. I believe, I used to think I have a lot of time <laughs> until I realized I do not have time. I can and this imagine. Is something, and this is something a lot of maybe upcoming content creators and, and entrepreneurs for that matter, and people who just want to pursue their hobbies and dreams should actually realize that you never have enough time. You know when yeah. people lazy around and say, I'm going to watch Netflix? Okay, fine. For, 
for the love of Netflix, I have nothing against that. But you cannot spend your entire day watching movies and shows and not mm-hmm. do something about yourself and your life. Mm-hmm. When you wake up one morning and realize you're 40, you're 50, and there's nothing tangible you can turn around and look at and say, yes, I created this, yeah. you'll regret. So I think in that aspect, that's the only thing I can tell people that the only uh-huh. thing I realized that I thought I had before was time until came heart in heart. And I noticed that, yes, we are human beings, we are, we are, we are mortal, and above all, we are limited with time. But your time could be enough or little depending yeah. with what you do with it. So that's uh-huh. the only thing I can say I learned from this whole process. I don't know about Vicky, but to be honest, there are no regrets. And everything uh-huh. that I put into this, I can stand tall and say I'm proud of where we have come and how far we've traveled. No regrets, only lessons here, right? Victoria, you'd want to add on that? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah I mean, I love it, I love it. Now, before I even add, there's one person I have not mentioned who is Miss Frida Goko. Uh, Goko. <laughs> really now, Victoria? <laughs> yes, I mean you've been you've been very very monumental in terms of marketing, in terms of Thank you doing so much. so much to support us, and that is that is already. I mean, being part of the team is not being in the group and talking and Jimmy Mimi. It's also being very, very active in regard to support and pushing forward. As you've also heard, some people are loyal when it comes to pushing. And as far as I can understand, from the day that you heard about us, you've been literally doing the videos, pushing for what we do and so on and so forth. And here you are. And hopefully this won't be the last time that we see you on screen. Otherwise, I will have a discussion with um, some barre. Uh, yes, uh, because that is, I, I can already tell this is not the last time we're seeing you. So uh-huh. hopefully there will be great things. Yeah, I know I know, I have gone about, um, further than what I'm supposed to, but uh, <laughs> Ellie knows that I don't care. <laughs> so, <laughs> but um, you, you, you really are an influential person when it comes to pushing forward. That is worth noting and stating and, and appreciating. So thank you for that. Keep on being as bubbly as you are. Keep on being a blessing. And greater things are bound to happen. They are coming. And as I always say, the best is yet to come. And be part of the bandwagon. And as you are loyal to it, it will be loyal back to you. And that is something that I can definitely promise. So with that said, the only thing I regret is not starting this earlier on. That is the only thing I regret. <laughs> uh, because, because, I mean, I would probably not be slaving somewhere else. <laughs> ah, because, <laughs> but at the end of the day, God's timing is the best. You see, yeah. the time that even Ellie and I met each other, it was right at the starting point. Um, and maybe if we met each other earlier, Maybe we wouldn't have seen the value in each other to be able to start something together, or maybe things would have been changed. So I don't see it as a point of it's a bad thing, but in terms of wishing that we could do something, um, because now COVID is is leaving and then so on and so forth. Maybe I mean at the end of the day, whatever is divine is divine. But the fact the whole journey has been very very monumental in my life. Yeah. And hey, Ellie can can tell you it's been up and down, um, mm-hmm. but I guess that that is what it's it was supposed to be. So I only regret not starting it earlier because uh-huh. we would have a longer journey right now, and we'd be telling even more stories right now. Um, so, but that's coming as well. So I have no regrets. But mm-hmm. again, like you said, it is a lot. You yeah. you have. You all of a sudden are starting to wish that you have 30 hours in a, in a, in a day rather than 24 hours because all of a sudden you have to now wake up and do something else and then you have to rush back and so on and so forth. And you cannot utilize your capabilities in full as you'd wish to because you have a time limit. Now, and the body is not, the body is not wood, yeah? 
So and it needs to rest. It needs to yes. do. And there are there are also other responsibilities that that surround it. So if I could be asked, I would want to give more more time, more knowledge, more resources. But that time is also coming. We are not meant to do certain things for life. And I know the time of putting everything in 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 that basket is coming. So I'm looking forward to it. And that Great. leads us now to what. Ah, that's that's good to hear that now you're like, actually when I heard about Hearts in Heart, I was like, they should have started like a long time ago. How come I'm hearing about it right now? I remember telling Godwin, this is great. This is amazing. Because like you said, artists are just out here and they just want to be appreciated and to know that there are other artists apart from musicians and dancers and all that. Now, coming to an end of this very amazing um, interview, I'm giving you guys two minutes each to tell me what do you expect? of Arts in Heart in the next, in the near future. Let's talk about three years, let's talk about five years. In the near future, what do we expect from Arts in Heart? Ellie, let's take it from you. Was this the place to say ladies first? <laughs> ah, stop running away, stop running away. Can you, can you tell us? Can you tell us? No, no let, me, let me be a gentleman, Victoria, and allow you. Okay. Oh, Lord, I, I, I knew it, I knew it. Victoria, I take it. over. The honor is good. <laughs> Now, one of the one uh, one of the aspects that we want to look into is being able to support artists fully from Arts in Hearts financially. That is one thing that I'm going to put out there because it is important to also state because we want to build an ecosystem that is self sufficient and that is also well available to be able to remunerate our our, our artists. And not only because we have a team, but now we're looking at the outside aspect of how we can be able to push forward and be able to remunerate artists so that they can be able to build their different aspects. And this requires a lot. It requires a lot of work. It requires sponsorship. It requires funding and much, much more. And therefore, when we look at the business angle, I, like I said, I'm doing a master's in business development. When I look at this from a business perspective, I'm looking at it as where we want to be in terms of as a, as a, a business. We want to see how we can be able to create this ecosystem where we have, and, and I know if you're watching and you're an investor or you know investors or you know how to outsource this, contact me so that we can look at what angles can we look at and what can we be able to build so that we can be able to create this ecosystem. That is one, creating a self-sufficient ecosystem that is art in heart so that we do not only remunerate our workers, but we're also able to remunerate our artists and push their art forward not only by word of mouth or by marketing strategies that are in the show, but also placing them at marketing strategies that they can be able to reach out even further and help them in that aspect. I think that's one of the biggest goals. Number two, be able to bring out the best in people and, and especially in the workers. Um, could it be hosts? Could it be marketers? Could it be so and so and so? And by bringing out the best is by also creating a system where they get educated in their different um, in their different uh, uh, departments, such that our marketers have uh, the right resources, the right education, courses that have facilitated for them to do their work in the best capacity as possible. We have the different interviewees or uh, sorry interviewers and hosts that can be able to do it at the best capacity possible um and all the other people who are doing prep people who are doing outsourcing of, of funds or resources or guests they can be able to do it in the most professional and in the best capacity possible because art in hearts has facilitated for that environment and that sector so that is the business angle because that requires a lot um, in terms of the show aspects of it, we need to be able to have hosts who are doing the most, basically, um, where we have trained not only Ellie, not only Victoria, but having a whole entire team that can be able to fully sustain themselves when it comes to matters production, when it comes to matters um matters hosting when it comes to so that we don't only see one face or two faces mm -hmm. we can be able to see multiple faces because again 
we're growing and we need to also rise by lifting each other. We rise by lifting others. And that is the whole background of what art in heart entails. So for some of us, when it comes to the future, some of us need to go to business meetings where we need to figure out the business aspects of art in heart. And we have to move from the show aspects. We need to move from the hosting aspects where we're looking at a more dynamic place where we're thinking, what can we do for the show to be able to be sustainable? And we cannot do this if we are still on screen. So one of that, the aspects is to be able to create a dynamic team that can be able to handle all matters so that we also can look at now the background aspects, not only production related, not only direction related, not only scripting related or all the kind of things that go around in the show, but also business related, where we're looking at growing a whole organization company around Art and Heart. And I tell you, three years is such a long time for us to be able to do that because our team members are spectacular, absolutely spectacular. And I don't think there is a better team than what we have because we're all determined to do the best because our passion lies in what we do it is not in the motivational aspects of having a job where you're going simply because you know there's a pay at the end of the month or you're going because you feel like this there's this and that but people are passionate and i think that's one of the most important things so i think these are the things to look at in the short-term aspect and in the long-term goals long-term goals we have our vision of course that only can be sustained and attained by the short-term goals Amazing. Um, that's great to hear. And I like how you're able to put the business aspect and the show aspect. It means that you understand clearly what you're doing and what the, um, Art in Heart is all about and being able to say, now we are able to get this team so that people can do this, have people are competent enough to be able to, I'm not supposed to be on the screen every time I can, you know, go and do something else. Because I feel like when you're building empire, sometimes we forget there's a business part, there's a show part, there's, you know, a lot of uh, these stages that needs to be figured out. Ellie, would you like to add on something? Well, uh, my very competent uh, director hey, has said- Hey, I'm a passion, I'm a young and a passion. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing we have to add on it is the fruit part. So it becomes a real passion fruit. So thank you, Victoria. And I, you've communicated well what we intend to do. Uh, uh, cognizant of the fact that uh, we are really out of time, allow me to say this, that you have to understand some of the mantra we, be, uh, I mean, the mantra we deal with is engage, entertain, educate, and inform. Uh -huh. This are things that exist but in singular way but we are making it in that such a way that we always have this for working hand in hand and if you look at what you see from the rest of content creators you realize most of them probably go to educate a little bit but entertainment it's the most that takes place yeah. and i want us to have a platform that balances all this for because uh -huh. then we have a society that is holistically being uh, evolved or rejuvenated for that matter. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, once the curtains close, I want to have a team that will be proud of what we've done. And then we can pass on to the next generation because uh -huh. it is time we planted that tree before the next generation. Because we say one will plant, I mean, one will will uh, will prepare the seeds and, the, and the, uh, plow the land, and then the other generation will come water it, the other generation will take care of it, prune it, the other generation will come and, you know, harvest the fruits from it, and the other one will enjoy the shade. That's I, what I want us to do moving forward. Having said that, I'm more than honored to have you in the team, and I'm looking forward to working even more and more when it comes to matters art in art. So, Freedom Goku, you are one of the team members, and I'm proud to associate with you. Thank you so much, Eli. Ah, oh, I, I, I feel honored to join you guys because I believe I am one person who believes in whatever I want to join into doing. I need to believe in it so that I can give my hundred percent. Because if I don't believe in it, then I'll just be there for whatever. 
but I believe in what you're doing. You're doing an amazing job and I am happy to be part of the team. I hope I am very competent, like, you know, most of your guys here and uh, my Kierere. <laughs> you, you have another Kierere in the building, Victoria. I'm also very, you know, all over. But thank you so much uh, for this um, opportunity to join you guys. I hope I'll be of good help and I'll offer what I can learn from you also because you guys are amazing and you're doing an amazing job. Thank you so much for coming okay. to the show. I really appreciate it. It's been Eli Likwiani, Director at Heart, and then Victoria Nkatha, who is the amazing lady who has been joining us mm -hmm. the Heart in Heart. Remember, we're live on Facebook. You can cut this live again if you are not been live on this, you can find it again on Facebook at Hatting Heart and then on YouTube. It's still going to be there. You can watch it later at Hatting Heart Official. Thank you so much. Have yourself a lovely evening and see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ulitizama kitanda changu Kimeza kunguni Godoro mchimbili Ukasema wani penda Simu yangu masekete Nguwa zangu matambara Jatu vilivyo chapisho viraka Ukasema wani penda Kutoka ndani ya roho Tulipoenda wafuni nawe Sabuni ya kipande hey, Uzini wakunia Ukasema ujali Fanaka uchoka kwa mula Sasa iweje leo hii Nasikia fununu choka kwa rafiki zako Kuwa wani patalaka Sasa iweje leo hii Aditi za kuwa mini kaza ni yambia Mapenzi haya ya mechosha Sasa iweje leo hii Na viwa wasema umasikini wangu Wewe umekuchosha Nina choomba bebi Nipende nilivyo Bebi nipende nilivyo Zawari ya fanaka hiyo kutoka kwa mula Mafanikiyo kutoka kwa mula Ah, baby, baby Nina choma mimie Nipende nilivyo Baby, nipende nilivyo Zawari ya fanaka hiyo Toka kwa mula Mafani kiyo Toka kwa mula Baby 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 Zipendelei nikikuona watembea migu Wakati wenzio Wako kwenye magari ya kifahari Oh baby mimi Zipendelei Unapokula suku masiku saba za wiki Wakati wenzio wanajiburu nisha Na minufu Wenye maoteli pia sipendelei Nina kiri Niluwezo sina Nipende nilivyo Baby nipende nilivyo Eshuji Zawari ya fanaka hiyo Toka kwa mola Mafani kiyo toka kwa mola Baby, baby, baby Ninacho umba Nipende nilivyo Baby, nipende mimi nilivyo Zawari ya fanaka hiyo Toka kwa mola Mafani kiyo Toka kwa mula Baby, baby, baby Nina chomba Nina chomba